This is my friend Kelly. And that's me living in Kelly's closet for free. Like so rent free. He has no idea I'm up here. So I'm gonna see how many days I could go living in Kelly's closet with him having no idea. Oh, go easy. I told Kelly I'm flying back home today to visit my family. And coincidentally, he said this. You should not go home. You should stay here. me right now. Literally stay. You can stay in my room. But Jed's staying there. No, nah, Jed's taking the dungeon. I'm putting him in a closet. Little does he know. That's literally gonna be me in the next couple hours. <laughs> Also got the inside help from Kelly's other roommates, Ashley, Elliot, and Issa. And with them knowing, I think this would be pretty easy. Okay, you might be asking, Luke, why would you ever do this? I've been living in New York for the past month and paying way too much money. And now the month is over, so I have no place to stay. And uh, this just seems to make sense, especially if it's rent free. Oh man, it is 1-12. This is night number one. I'm all alone here at the WeWork. Why is that a sketchy noise? I've been posting on my Instagram, trying to convince Kelly that I left. He saw my story, so hopefully he was not like sussed out. He's home right now. I was waiting for him to go to bed because I don't even know if I could fit. I still have to scavenge for a pillow, you know, blankets, get up there. Luckily, Jed, he's staying there as well. He's my inside man right now. We good? We in the clear? This is exhilarating. This is kind of fun. I'm gonna head over there right now. And Jed's gonna sneak me in. I feel like I'm sneaking in my lover. <laughs> my hands are sleeping. <laughs> and hopefully I do not get caught the first night because that would suck. After waiting a while in Elliot's closet, I decided, you know what? It's probably safe to come out now. I continued to wait in Elliot's room. Honestly, was having a great time. And then another hour went by and it wasn't so fun anymore. Updated is now 4.30. I'm so tired right now. I just want to like get up there and fall asleep. I feel so musty right now. So I'm going to try to shower really quick and then I'm going to grab some blankets and somehow try to see if I could get up in that cabinet thing or whatever without making too much noise. We officially made it. This is night one. Oh man. Also, store Kelly shirt, Charlie D'Amelio. Honestly, this closet is super spacious. You can lay down and everything. It's just that it's so hot up here. I'm gonna try to go to sleep before I get super sweaty. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Dude, did you open it last night? No. Kelly opened it. This? Yeah. You're kidding. I'm not. I'm dead ass. Oh, oh. I did, at like 6am. Oh yeah, I was so sketched out. This is a pretty good prank. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Wait, when is he gonna find out? When he catches me. Can you even breathe up there? Morning of day two, I went out for a little breakfast. Sneaking out with the boy. I continued to try to persuade Kelly by posting on Instagram that I was back home in the bay. For some reason, they thought it was so funny to make it so obvious that I'm in New York still. <laughs> not New York. That's so sad. Hey, obviously, I did not actually use that. I used this one. Eventually, Kelly did see my story, which is great. And later that day, I took a nice little cruise, somehow ended up at Best Buy. And I thought, why not get a creepy spot camera to put in Kelly's room? Let's go. Kelly's at the basketball court right now. Everyone's home, but I have my spy camera. I'm gonna try to set it up and see if it works. Make them boom. 
You think this is creepy? <laughs> I didn't know where it is. I also have no idea where it is. Jed, talk. Elliot, Elliot, Elliot. Elliot, Elliot. 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 Wait, I didn't check if Kelly would have. So oh, Fook, yeah, he's yeah. coming home. I gotta well, hide. Nice seeing you. No. You're gonna have fun up there. <laughs> This is so weird. I'm just watching Kelly. God, this is so weird. I feel like. Hey Google, activate chill. All right, activating chill. Whoa! It is so hot. The AC broke today. I'm literally gonna die in that thing. Everyone in the house, they went out to like go play pool or something, which is perfect for me. Before I go back in the dungeon, I kind of want to. This one and no looker. What? Cool. Oh. Thank you for the cake. I'm saving this up there. <laughs> oh shit. They're here. Alright. Alexa, lights off. Pretty good, look. Now if he opens it, and if I'm down, he won't see me. Hopefully. What? So eventually they left, and it was just me. All by myself. In this hot ass closet. I cannot emphasize how hot this was. Oh, it's so hot. This is not the problem I thought I would have. And it's not like I could open the door or go anywhere because I kept seeing people walk by in the camera and then I saw Kelly walk by too. So there I was, hours passing by, the heat, the sweat, the tears, hot ass closet. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, look to my right, and there's a bright little bottle of Gatorade just warming up the closet even more. Okay, this is totally my fault, but I cannot emphasize literally, it was so hot in there. Bro, I gotta get out of here soon, it's just so I literally thought I was gonna pass out and die. It's like to the point where I'm like, I could pass out and like kind of stupid for this video. I was really close to giving up. I thought I've come too far. I've already spent one night. I cannot give up this soon. I can't leave now. Too deep in. Too deep. And then this happened. Okay, I knew it was Jed the whole time because he gave me a secret whistle. But uh, I just wanted to make the video more intense. But it was just Jed. I peed in a bottle. No. Yeah. Jed told me that Kelly went to bed, and I could not be more happy to get out of this hot ass. Okay. Truly, the temperature just getting out of that closet was so drastic. Alright, I'm in the stairwell right now because it's literally so hot. Now I'm gonna go shower. So excited. There's absolutely no way I was going back in Kelly's closet. I feel like Kelly never comes to this area because it's on the other side of the house. And I thought sleeping under the bed is the best option in case I sleep in and somehow Kelly wakes up early, which is exactly what happened. I woke up to someone walking by. I'm pretty sure it's Elliot, but I didn't even look because I didn't even want to chance it. And then someone was also eating cereal. I could hear Kelly eating cereal. I was so sleep deprived from staying up all night that I actually fell back asleep and woke up at about like one o'clock and checked Kelly's location and he happened to be at the gym, which is a perfect time for me to get out of the house. So that's what I did. Bing bong. So I headed to a coffee shop and obviously got a coffee. Watching back this footage, I realized I'm sipping on this coffee in every single B-roll shot. But the coffee was pretty good. Well, then I took the train to Washington Square Park and I honestly just chilled on the grass. And it was really, really nice. 
made it. Came here to Washington Square Park to think about what I could do to make this more interesting and uh, exciting. Yeah, to be honest, I totally fell asleep on the grass. <laughs> I did not think of anything to make this video more exciting. Before it got dark, Jed, once again, coming in clutch, let me into a WeWork, where hopefully I can come up with a plan. Honestly, just figure out my next move. All right, we made it back to the WeWork. Kind of the only place I could go for a longer period of time besides a coffee shop. But um, I've been getting some comments asking what backpack I use. I used to use, this is what I've been using for the past three years. It doesn't even have a zipper. But shout out Brevity, that I've been using it for two weeks. I generally really love this bag because it has a compartment for my computer. It has a secret compartment over here. This is like such a big upgrade for me. If you guys are interested in this backpack, the link is in the description and you can check them out. All right, what are we gonna do now? I think we need a game plan. <laughs> okay, I lied again. I did not come up with any game plan. I actually just went to bed. <laughs> and I was like, I'll just figure it out tomorrow. I actually snuck out of the closet at night and slept in Kelly's bed. I feel like at this point, I do not care anymore. I was taking a risk, but I did wake up early and then wouldn't get caught by Kelly. Okay, no more messing around today. I actually have a game plan. I went to a gift shop nearby to try to find a disguise that would blend me in as a tourist. Does this look obvious? So obvious. Is it? Yeah. Uh, Isa told me that it was probably the worst disguise ever and I definitely would get caught. Oh, but like you see, <laughs> red, blue, and yellow. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> so then she helped me out and gave me a makeover. She picks the hottest. This is good. This is you should good. wear something funny. Wait. I feel like I need to adjust my walk. <laughs> no, no. For sure. Hold on. So, you know what? Let's fill your eyebrows in. It does, like, also, I just realized you were wearing the shades the whole time. It made this so much more difficult. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? Dude, that's too much. Literally, I don't know who that is. Oh my god, <laughs> what the heck? Dude, doesn't it look so different? Yeah. Now that I had my disguise ready, I wanted to see how close I could get to Kelly without him noticing me. I look crazy. This is not gonna work. It's so obvious. Okay, I was waiting outside the Starbucks for literally 30 minutes. I saw him throw something away right before he left the Starbucks, he and then he bolted off on his boosted board, and I totally missed it, to be honest. But I wasn't just gonna give up there. So I hopped on a city bike, literally followed Kelly to the pier, which is, now that I think about it, this was really weird. You think you're safe? You think you're safe? Like, I was just following him around, trying to find him videotaping him. I'm in a mall. I'm pretty sure he's in here, too. Yeah, I spotted him. Oh, my God. I see him from afar. I see the Warriors jersey. All right, I'm going to go see if I could get a better look on him. Oh, I just zoomed in. to get out of here pretty close to him but i feel like i was too comfortable i was like taking selfies behind him literally stalking him <laughs> that's so weird i then rewarded myself with some chipotle uh just to celebrate not getting caught in this stupid tourist outfit and ultimately got ready for the final phase i was hiding in the closet waiting for kelly to get home my plan was to use a random phone number to text Kelly really creepy messages <laughs> and try to scare him that a stalker is following him. Sorry if this is creepy, but you left your Snapchat map on and I saw what you had Starbucks today then at the pier. What? Huh. Sus. <laughs> what the fuck? What the shit? Dude, man, I watched Stranger Things once and this is what happens to me. Bruh. What do you want from me, man? Right here, huh? You're watching me? Haha, <laughs> what the heck? Too slow. Ashley's not here to protect you. Yeah, okay. You creepo. How did you not see me? I just ran to Elliot's room. Okay, now this is getting creepy. Hello, hello, hello? Ha ha ha. Alright, well, get ready to get shot by my gun. I'm gonna shoot your ass then. Okay, okay, now I'm scared. You got me scared, now you can stop. Now you can stop. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> I've been up here for three days. How long have you been up there? Uh, for three days! <laughs> you actually haven't been sleeping up there. No, I did. Look, there's a pillow and there's thing. I have, like, footage. Dude, are you serious right now? <laughs> did I convince you, like, because I left? I didn't think you were going to be here. Why weren't you just here? It would have been way more fun if you were just here. <laughs> I what? went. And I, what? I followed you to Starbucks, and then I followed you to the pier, and I was just watching you. Yo, that's a breach of privacy right there. <laughs> Are you actually not joking? No, I'm You're being dead ass. You've been here for three days. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. You didn't actually. I did. I also found both cameras going. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I was talking to them. What? To notice this, and then are you home right now? When are you gonna do Kelly surprise? Oh. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like, oh, the roommates put on a party for me for a million subscribers. Surprise! Happy one million. <laughs> Issa did my eyebrows today, so it looked different when I had glasses on. I was gonna say your eyebrows look whack. I feel like that was not worth it. Like I was like, oh, this angle probably not that good, so I propped it up on my SSD. <laughs> Like, wow, what a good YouTuber good friend. Thing. That's why this, I don't know how you caught that. This fell the other day. And also you took out my cord. I saw the rummage. Wait, who's on call with me? I don't, a call? <laughs> you can stop it now, lady. <laughs> What's up? It's the guy that called you. Yo, am I shooting you? <laughs> You know, the idea was good for this prank, but the execution was not. I was genuinely scared out in the living room, mm. like walking into Elliot's room. I didn't know what was happening because I thought it was a party. <laughs> the whole time? <laughs> you were even scared? Ah, oh, that's so Bro, nice. you know what's the scariest thing? The scariest thing about this all is your eyebrows. <laughs> that's the scariest thing. Oh, man. <laughs> so badly. Funny, like how crazy I thought this was, and then it's like a three minute part of your day. And I've been living this for three days. I was literally up there. No, you were not! Bro, what? Is, I'm so this like was, this was shook. Up. I literally slept up there. I can't believe I lived that. For three days, up in there. Everyone else was having fun without me. It literally was out there, I was like, ah, I wish Luke was here. And you were! I was here. <laughs> Best friend hides in closet <laughs> for three days. 